Okay guys, we got this 91 Cadillac Sedan DeVille. And they said that, uh, I guess you can start it, it'll run for a couple seconds, and then dies. So, I guess we'll see how hot it is in here, because it's like 200 degrees outside today. And then, uh, I guess we'll put the windows down. I heard the fuel pump going. Let's see what happens here. Well, it started. Pop the hood. It does a service engine soon. So I'm gonna get out my Snap-on scan tool and we'll see what's going on. It's running. Oh, that sounds like it doesn't have any fuel, guys. That's to the floor. So let me go grab a scan tool. We'll see what our fuel trims are at. Actually, guys, because of how easy these fuel lines look to be to get to, I think I'm just gonna pull the intake off and we'll uh, we'll just check our fuel flow because that, that definitely felt like uh, it was had no fuel. Cause like you give it gas and it just sits there and makes that noise and doesn't sound too happy. It sounds like a really, really lean motor. So I think that's what we'll do. Oh wait, is this all quick connect? Oh, it is all quick connect. This is gonna be even easier. So let me put these screws back on. We won't even have to take this intake off. This is awesome. At least we, I don't think we'll have to take it off. Okay guys, so we got our fuel volume tester hooked up. Got it plumbed into the line. Let's see what happens when we start this thing out. Oh, look at that. We don't have a lot of flow here, guys. I'm gonna get a container, we'll bleed some of this in the container and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I scanned the Cadillac. We got this map sensor lower open. Now they were unplugging this and then we got this uh, long term has been reset. So I think what we'll do is we'll clear our codes and then we'll see what comes back on this. Because we can't accelerate. Let's see, data. I'm curious what our map sensor reading is right now. Let's see. Barrow, coolant, throttle degrees. Let's go with block learn, integrator. We'll see if we go into closed loop. I think that's all we need for right now. I guess we'll bring up map sensor voltage. There we go. Let's see what's our map sensor reading. 44? I don't know if this is going. I mean, 4.4 inches, that's wrong. Look at that, we didn't even get a change. I wonder if it's unplugged right now. I guess we'll go look at it. See, we can't even rev it. Look, look at our throttle position. You can hear how it's idling right now. Look at our RPM watch. Like 40, 50. It's not even going anywhere. That's wide open throttle, guys. Pedal to the floor. Look at our oxygen sensor. Let's see if it'll warm up. And cycle so we can see what that does. That is way lean right now.
see it's like trying to die. Actually, I should say we're way rich. map ain't changing so we need to figure out why our map ain't changing well just realized our map isn't even plugged in there we go so now it's, it's really not happy look at that car is really really not happy when we plug that in Let's see so we got 30 inches 30 inches right there Look at that. I should see what our fuel pressure is supposed to be. If I give it gas, then it'll try to start. I'm gonna look up, see what our fuel pressure spec's supposed to be. Okay guys, so I think I know what the issue is. So we got our oxygen sensor switching right now. Watch our map with our uh, throttle position, you ready? So I give it some gas. Look at our map. You see our map? I think our exhaust is restricted. See that? Look at our map with just a little bit of throttle. You hear how it's sounding too? Look, I'm just gonna hold it 10. Look at our map. Do it a little bit, let's go to like 12. There we go, just a little bit more and our map voltage drops. And look, hear the car? It's not happy about this. And look at our oxygen sensor. Look at our map reading. Our map reading is now elevated. So I think what's going on here is, I think our cat's restricted or something. Because we can't give it any gas without it knocking. Like it starts knocking. So, I'm going to uh, pull a spark plug out, and uh, we'll do. Uh, I'll pull our spark plug out, and then we'll go in cylinder, and we'll see what we get as far as back pressure. Unless I can pull the, might be able to pull the O2. Okay, guys. So I put my uh, transducer in here, and uh, the whole end blew off. It's down there at the cylinder, so I'm gonna have to. Uh, get this remade. I was gonna get a new hose made anyway because it's kind of crappy. But uh, this is what we got here. So if you look, we were able to build 132 PSI in the cylinder and then on our exhaust stroke, look at that, we have 18 PSI at idle right there. That's why it's not running. 18, 18 PSI. You see this is like pretty much a zero. I think we're at like negative three PSI right there. Out there I don't know what that is actually that's not negative three actually we can put this at zero let's do zero there you go that's a zero psi right there so 22 psi back pressure that's our problem with this car and I think it's because of our fuel pump being weak because I think our fuel pumps weak too so I'm gonna tell them and then that's where I with this so uh, yeah I hope you guys liked it see you later Okay guys, real quick. So uh, if I open this. Look at that, we got, what do we have? Like 20 or so. 20 or so, uh, we got 20 or so uh, gallons an hour when I did that. And our pressure didn't drop much. So according to our chart right here, 
if you look at this, 200 horsepower should be 17 gallons an hour is what it needs. So uh, we should be pretty good. Um, they're gonna order a cat for this and then they're gonna drop the exhaust and see if cat's restricted. I tell them like it could be a muffler, but it's a rare chance. But I can't do that out here in the street. So that's where we're at. Hope you guys like it. See you later.